Hello, it's noon on Monday, the 18th of December. You're tuned in to our midday newscast here on Arirang TV. Thank you, as always, for joining us. I'm Mark Broom. Let's begin with trade and negotiations that could have a significant and lasting impact on the Korean economy. U.S. President Donald Trump has been pushing to renegotiate or terminate the Korea-U.S. free trade agreement, saying it has caused America's trade deficit with Seoul to double over the last five years. To prepare for the crunch negotiations, the Korean government has been conducting economic studies and gathering public opinion over the past few months and this morning it submitted its renegotiation plan to the National Assembly. Our Kim Hyesung starts us off. Korea's trade ministry has submitted its plan to renegotiate the Korea-U.S. free trade agreement to the National Assembly. To come up with the plan, the Ministry for Trade, Industry and Energy has conducted economic feasibility studies on the five-year-old deal and has gathered opinions from the agricultural and manufacturing sectors through two public hearings and 26 rounds of meetings. The report covers the purpose and strategies for the renegotiations and the public hearing results. The Trade Ministry added that it will protect the country's sensitive industries such as agriculture and livestock and try to reach a mutually beneficial deal by touching on issues like services, investment, products country of origin and non-tariff measures. The move comes after the leaders of South Korea and the U.S. agreed to speed up the process of amending the trade pact during their summit in Seoul in November. President Trump has complained about the U.S. trade deficit with South Korea, while President Moon Jae-in has said that deficit was limited to products and has been shrinking, while Korea has continued to post large trade deficit in the service sector. The report Monday wraps up the domestic procedures needed before talks with Washington on amendments can officially begin. Specific dates for renegotiations will be announced in the near future. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.